we found a girl the other day on the street that was deaf uh, and and mentally ill and mentally retarded. And her whole goal in life was to get pregnant and to have a baby because she wanted to be loved. She wanted somebody to love her. She thought a baby would uh, uh, would get her uh, that kind of love. You want uh, coffee or cocoa? I guess I've always been on a spiritual journey. You know, when you really start connecting the dots, it actually, you know, trace back to my mother's decision when I was four or five years old to convert to Catholicism and, uh, and, and what that meant spiritually for me, even though I, you know, during my teen and uh, early adult years, I, I abandoned uh, really all of that to uh, you know, selfishness and good old-fashioned debauchery. <laughs> Alan's first catering truck was put into full service in April of 1999. Now his group, Mobile Loaves and Fishes, has expanded to 13 trucks in six different cities. There are now over 9,000 volunteers nationwide. that touches your soul, people that touches your soul, and a place that touches your soul, then you'll be happy. It's stop worrying about what you want and worrying more about what somebody else does. And stop worrying about numero uno and allowing you to be numero uno. And that is a very destabilizing and problematic thing for me to do. And, but every now and then, with a great deal of effort, I can manage to make you numero uno instead of me. We've always been known to um, uh, follow the words of our grandfathers and great-grandfathers, and that's always to keep a sight of good life and good things. Make your own kind of music. Sing your own kind of song, but give other people the same right. Do your neighbor no wrong. Live your own kind of lifestyle. Be your own kind of man, but helping others along the way, you take your place in the plan. We're talking about their happiness is giving, and whether you're giving to charities or whether you're giving your family, uh, that's where it all begins, I think. Go do something, give something to somebody and uh, test out our theory. The answer is to be the kind of person that would feel good about themselves, like do something nice, intervene, step up. I mean, this is the ultimate purpose of human beings, you know, to help one another. Right. We would not have survived as a species if we did not help one another smart thing to do is to help someone and you'll get a lot of it back whether you think that way whether that's your reasons or not if your reasons are just to help that's good because uh, you will receive a lot more than you get There's one more person we'd like to introduce you to. Meet Albert Lexi. Albert 
has been shining shoes for over 50 years. And Albert knows little something about happiness. Yes, it makes me very happy. I'm, I'm always happy. I, I, I try to smile for my kids all the time here at Children's Hospital. And it, may, it makes me feel good. I, 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 get to, I get to go see the kids once a month. I have a, I have a, ch a person from Child, Child Life takes me up there and give out little toys and shake their little hands. And some would shake their hands and some wouldn't. So I don't, I don't blame them, you know. Some, some are shy, you know. First I started out when I was just a little, little, a little kid. And when I was going out and start shining shoes, maybe like in 56, 57, that's how I raised my, raised my money. So I, I, th I think, I think your, your whole heart and your whole mind is, should, should uh, give, give something like that to your charity. When I was watching Bill Burns for a while on, on television, the anchor girl came on and, and I says, uh, let's uh, help to raise some money for, for Joan Hospital. I said, I want to go see Patty Burns. I want to see what, what she looks like and everything, you know? So we saved a little, little bit of money and we both went down there and we, we tried to get somebody to get Patty to come on the side of the, because we, we, we didn't want to go on the show. So we didn't go on the show, so we, we gave her the check, check burst on. How much is your shoe shine? Three three dollars a pair. It's the it's my tips. Your tips. It goes to the children's hospital free care fund. This is my shoe shine money, Patty Burns, and, and I wanted to meet you, and then I gave her yeah, I, I gave her a little hug and a little kiss on the cheek, you know. To date, how much have you given to this charity? $128,000. $128,000? Yes. So remember, we're all in this together, helping one another. Through good times and bad. And what resonates in all of our hearts can be truly inspiring. Community, love, resilience, faith, and giving. Life. It ain't easy, but as long as we enjoy the journey and we look out for one another, we'll be okay. And we'll find a whole lot of happiness along the way. One thing would change everything. If you would treat me the way that I treat you, and we treated each other with respect and dignity. That's all, that's it. That's the whole damn secret right there. If we could actually do that, this world would be what it started out to be.
that's a take and a wrap. 